How are we doing, YouTube? <coughs> Steve here. Just checking in for tonight. Hopefully everybody's having a good night. I am up here trying to get my reload. I made my University Park delivery. That wasn't, took a little while to get loaded, but that wasn't too bad. I had plenty of time. And then when I got to University Park, I was really worried that they weren't gonna have an empty. It's a really tight place. We haul quite a bit of freight in there. It's, it's a cross dock. And, um, <clears throat> we, uh, there was no empties there, which there usually isn't. Only one time have I got an empty there, and that was because they was getting ready to take it somewhere else. They said they're not very big, so they don't leave very many empties there. They got two drop yards where they take them. So I asked, the gate guard told me to ask the spotter if there was any empties over there, and he didn't know. But he was second shift, and who knows what the first shift did. I mean, he don't, he wasn't like jerky about it, but he, you know, he didn't know. He said, there should be. Ooh. Well, just as I was leaving, another J.B. Hunt truck pulled in. So now he's going to be looking for an empty as well. Now, the gate guard, when you leave, he gives you this paper that's got the addresses of both these places and all the trailers that are there. But I don't know when they do that inventory because the only trailers they had at each one of those locations, there was one Hunt trailer at each one of those locations, and both of them said red tag next to it. Ooh, yeah, this is looking sketchy. So I went to the closest one, and luckily, I got there before he did. Now, I was leaving when he was pulling in, so I had a little time. It's only like a mile away, a mile and a half. It isn't very far. And thank goodness, thank God, there was an empty. It wasn't a very good empty. It's got a hard to slide the axles empty, one of them older ones. And, of course, where I came to is this Clorox over here in University Park. And if anyone's drove for Omega, especially the Big Orange, you've been here before. They ship a tremendous amount out of here. And it's all, I don't want to say it's all um, Megas, but uh, J.B. Hunt's got a few fair bit of trailers in here. And Schneider has a lot of trailers in here. And there's quite a few containers in here. I don't want to say quite a few containers, but some. I'm trying to remember who else is around the corner there. I seen. It's one of the places you gotta slide the tans. Like I said, this time we don't want to slide. Then you gotta unhook and go park at a different spot and wait, and they'll call you. And the security people act like they hate every truck driver they see. Maybe not hate, but definitely don't like. I've been here before several times and I recall one time sitting out there in the parking lot it's not really a parking lot it's really we just pull in they wouldn't let me in I had to wait for was I waiting for a door or I can't remember what the deal was waiting for my trailer it wasn't done yet and it was busy like crazy and there's only like one poor kid in there working who was actually pretty nice he wasn't there tonight but that's been six or seven years ago And uh, I sat here what felt like for a eternity. Three or four hours, something like that. One of them deals, and I don't remember where I Did I go back to the Gary Yard after that? I can't remember what the deal was. But I couldn't leave. I had to wait. Now, the problem now is, so it's 8.19 now. I've been here for an hour. I got here just after 7.00 which is two hours before my appointment time. But I really need to get this load because I'm close on time on the Ohio end. Now I've got all day to deliver this at, at Lowe's, but my reload at uh, Massillon <clears throat> that pickup is at 7, 19, yeah, 7 p.m. Live load, 7 p.m. Their time. So that's an hour fast. I'm going to lose an hour. And now it's only 400 and some miles 
Actually, it's not quite that far. I didn't figure that right, because that was all the way from Spring Valley. I might be okay. I may have figured my miles wrong. 233, 333, six. I'm, I'm probably okay. When I was just looking at my paper, and when I figured that, I figured that when I looked at the Massalian miles, I didn't look at the miles right. I was looking at it from Massillon, Ohio to Springville, Spring Valley, Illinois, which is where the delivery is at, 431 miles. And that's what I was calculating. Actually, it's University Park to Finley is only 233, and I think Massillon's only another 40 or so past that. So we're pretty well okay. I mean, God forbid catastrophe strikes, and they do something crazy and get me out of here like midnight. But there's like, I seen one other truck. Like I said, I've been over here over an hour. I seen one other truck pull in here. And he had a drop enough. He's already left. There's two more trucks sitting down here, bobtail, that are live loading. So, we may be okay. <coughs> Unless they just, you know, some folks don't have a lot of ambition. And they just might flat not start it early. Say, well, his appointment is at 9, and that's when we're starting. People are weird. And hopefully, they call me in just a little bit and say, hey, mister, you're done. You know, low is low, done. You know, some maybe they want to get that work done, so then they got most of their work done for the rest of their shift. But the other problem is maybe they don't want to get a good start because they want to milk that job to last the rest of their shift. Otherwise, the boss will make them go do something they don't want to do. That happens too, while we sit out here and wait. I can't complain about waiting right now because, like I said, I'm here before my appointment. So, And then I just got to bounce home for tonight. I'll go home tonight. Um, if it was loaded right this second, I'd be home at 9.51. So I should be home before midnight. If it takes another couple hours. So that's what I'm saying. It gets close on time. Because if I, if I don't go home at midnight, then I can't leave until 10, which, you know, doesn't leave a lot of time in between there to make this work. But I think it'll work okay. Knock on wood, we're going to say it's going to work okay. That's how you got to schedule these loads, though. Because if you don't, you're not, now you're trying to fill in gaps, and it's really hard to find loads if you... Um, I'm, a, I'm, so I'm going to load that, uh, that one back to Illinois. Then I have another one going out of Chicago back over to Finley. And I'm looking for something from Finley for Saturday. I'll be at Finley on Saturday. And I, I seen a shorty down to Kentucky but boy, it's one of them too that just, it's close on time and they're live loads. And I'm just afraid this far out, I'm afraid there's a lot that can go wrong between now and then. And then I'm also gonna be getting close on my 70. So I gotta watch that. So I'm trying to maximize the rest of this. I'm trying to have a good week. I'm trying to maximize that clock. And uh, I said, although I don't want to work on Saturday, uh, I usually don't want to. Um, I need to work on Saturday. Or I need to work as hard as I can in the next couple weeks. I get my hopper finished. I can go back and do hopper freight. I need to get a new tarp on it and a couple of little things. But um, I need a couple good weeks. I've had terrible weeks these last couple weeks. So, but we're kind of getting it figured out. We just got to... I'm afraid it's just going to be one of them deals where you just got to work every day and kind of manage your clock and just because of the way the loads are uh, not enough of them to help fill in your clock you got to be very strategic but all right everybody it's 9 40 uh god bless uh, we'll check in in the morning before i head out to ohio i'll let you know how long they took me to load hopefully it's not too long um all right god bless everybody